Let's stay with media and start jumping into some TV. I haven't been talking much TV. I want to catch up to date on some of the stuff that I thought was great. Some season enders and series enders that were really tremendous as we start rolling into the Flash, Arrow, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Marvel's is cooking that. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s already on fire. Haven't started watching the Flash or, um, or Arrow or iZombie yet. We'll be doing that soon. And, of course, The Walking Dead. But let's get to some of the stuff that really, to me, was a surprise. Under the Dome, first year was kind of interesting. Second year was, uh, this summer was a lot of fun. It just went crazy. All of a sudden, we had husks. We had people walking around who were controlled by aliens. And it just got really wacky and fun. It wasn't great. It was fun. And the season ender, the series ender, was well worth seeing. It actually closed up everything and gave everybody an ending. You knew something was going to go on. The two young lovers are going to do their thing and hopefully escape and make it all happen. Big Jim is the man in government, brings in his guys. It's really just the people who had died should have died. It's well, it was really a good ending, a great series finale. I say right on, never expected that. Strike Back. I loved Strike Back. It was just straight ahead. The two stars are on two shows now on network, network TV. And it was a great series under Strike Back where two guys, one was American, one was British, really kind of flipped, I think. Maybe one was Australian in, in real life. And um, uh, just they were, they were soldiers who just went out, and there was like a little side team that went out and took care of all the bad villains who were going to blow up the world. This year started kind of slow. Everybody knew the season was ending, but it really built up with a great ender, just a big smile. Everybody wanted to give it all away, but, man, what a, what a shootout at the OK Corral at the end. I mean, wow, just... Bullets everywhere, death, blood. You know, it isn't real, but the action is incredible. And it was the only way that show could end. With a big smile, and then, of course, a big smile on the motorcycles cruising off like Easy Rider. I just kept waiting for Jimi Hendrix to come on and just start cooking or maybe Steppenwolf with the Born to be Wild as they went off on the motorcycles mm -hmm. at the end. A really excellent series ender. Really excellent. Dominion, I've been pushing Dominion. You gotta watch Dominion. The, the, the season ended, it's with the angels coming to earth. God has disappeared, but it's just really building up how, how the angels can take over people's bodies. The people become part angel, but their angels aren't good. And then you have the higher angels, Daniel and Michael and Gabriel. And, and I think uh, now the devil's here. And, and that's how that ended. And it's getting ready for next year. Really catch up on Dominion. The first two years were really good. First year was pretty good. Second year was great. An ending of somebody dying. I don't want to give it away, but what a bummer. I hope, I think it's over for that for that character. And it was just really, really excellent. I, I recommend it highly. Catch up on Dominion and start getting ready. You should be watching Arrow, iZombie, um, uh, uh, The Flash, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I am outside the demo, but this is some great stuff. TV is great. It's fun. It's happening. Just keep watching it. Do it late at night. When work's over, when you got some time, crank it up too, because it's always so much fun when it is loud. Peace.